Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the last problem of today's bi-weekly contest, minimum replacement to sort the array. The problem states that you are given an array nums and you can perform an operation. What is the operation? Operation is you can replace any element of the array with two elements such that the sum of those two elements is equal to the sum like it is equal to the original element. For example, if the array is 5, 6, 7, you can break this 6 into two elements 2 and 4 again because 2 plus 4 is 6 and the new array would become 5, 2, 4, 7. So you have to perform this operation unless the array becomes non-decreasing or increasing and you have to return the minimum number of operation that you can perform such that this array becomes non-decreasing. So hope the problem statement is clear. Let's see how to solve this. First, let's try to mimic what, whatever we are given. So we want to make this array non-decreasing or increasing. So let's start from 7. Uh, 7 is actually like seven, uh, 8 is less than or equal to 7. So in a way, 8 like this is non-decreasing. Now this is also non-decreasing. This is also non-decreasing. But now we hit 5. So this is not non-decreasing. So once we hit 5, we need to break all of these such that each of the splits is actually less than or equal to 5. Now you might say that why not break 5 itself. So if you break 5, you will actually decrease this to something lower. And if you decrease this, no matter what, like if you decrease this or not, you have to break all of these because they are actually greater than 5. So whatever value we will get after breaking this, that also will require everything should be like everything to be break. So let's say you break this in some fashion such that everything is less than or equal to 5. Now you hit uh, 3. Okay. So what you want like what you have is everything here is less than or equal to 5 you have already you have already performed the operations on all this element now once you hit 3 again your array would become non decreasing uh, like increasing so in a way you have to perform again operations on all of these and ensure that everything is now less than or equals to 3 notice that you might have broken this 9 to 4 comma 5 right so because you might have broken this to 4 comma 5 you might have to break this again to accommodate 3 because now you would say that everything should be less than or equal to 3 to the left so again you have to perform the operation on all these elements so clearly in worst case what you will end up doing is for each element you will perform operation on all the previous elements so in worst case, the complexity would be order n square if we go via this path. Now, assuming that we know how to break that it like even then the complexity would be something like order n square, which will not pass. So let's try to modify it a little bit. Let's see if what happens if we start from the end because we actually want the array to be non decreasing. So let's see what happens if we start from the end. So we start from two. Now we hit three. Now 3 is not less than or equal to 2. So what you what we will do is we will try to break 3 such that it is less than or equal to 2. Let's say we break 3 into 1 comma 2. Now we hit 5. So again we will break this 5 such that everything is less than or equal to 1 like the first element now. So now you can see right uh, we uh, like if we want to break this, we are only performing operation on this exactly once. Previously, if you remember anything breaking we encounter, let's say we have solved this part of the problem, this part of the array. Now we hit three. We have to modify all these elements, right? But now whenever you are encountering something which is not compliant, uh, for example, this five and three, five is actually greater than three, which it should not be. So you only need to break this 5. This 3 needs not to be broken. So you are now performing operation on a single element at max once. So hence you are saving a lot of operations. So it, first observation is we should start from the 
ending array or we should start backwards so that's the first point now let's see only question that remains is how to break an element so now we encountered three right and we randomly say that we will break into one and two but this might not give us optimal result so the only question that now remains is how will we break an element for example if this is the array we are sure that now that we should start from three now we encounter 11 that is not com not compliant so how will we break 11 so there are multiple possible ways to break 11 right so you can see there are multiple possible ways and each of them requires different number of operations so this requires a three number of operation how three like you will let's say you break 11 into 8 and 3 like this is complete 8 and 3 now this is one operation now you again take this 8 and break it into 5 and 3 so that is second operation and you take 5 and break into 2 and 3 so that is third operation so basically number of splits minus 1 is the number of operation that we are performing so you are performing different number of operation and there are different ways to break it so how will you exactly break it like which one like you can't actually try every possible combination again you will hit the time limit so how to actually break it so the rule is every split should be less than or equals to next that we understood like because the array should be non decreasing and the second rule is the first one should be like first one after the break breaking should be as greater as possible so why let's say you you choose this split okay now if you choose this split what you are enforcing that everything to the left should be less than or equals to one that's what you are enforcing right you are you have break 11 into this particular number set of numbers so by breaking into this this set of numbers you are enforcing that everything here should be less than or equals to one now notice that you have to like to enforce that you have to break every like each of these elements now let's say let's see what happens if you instead choose this one in which the first element like first element here was one but the first element here is two so in a way what you are saying is everything to the left should be less than or equal to two so you only need to break these two element this element might not need further broken like with respect to this so you are allowing yourself some buffer if you choose greater elements if you break this 11 into greater elements because that will help further on the left side that's where this condition comes from that first element should be as max as possible after the breakage so with this two condition let's see how will we actually break this 11 so first one we want and there is only third there is third condition as well third condition is we want minimum number of operation like that is the problem itself we want minimum number of operation so here we are we can see we are performing three operation here we can see we are performing uh, one two three four operation right and similarly here also four operation here five operation and so on and so forth but we want minimum operation so how we can get minimum operation we want everything should be less than three so let's break 11 and let's put let's bring three out of it okay now left is eight now let's again break it and let's again uh, put like three out of it so left is five let's again break it and let's take out three from it so left is now two so two is actually less than three so we'll not break it further and we will just put it here so we are sure that we will be requiring at least three operation here without three operation you can't do this because everything should be less than three and that's the best you can do with less than three everything is equals to three like almost equals to three so you know that you are requiring three operation now is this the best split the answer is no the thing is let's say you are breaking uh, maybe something like uh, a bigger number and you end up having one here and you have four here okay and uh, let's say everything is again uh, four here so if you have this configuration would you want to have one here the answer is no because 
what you want is this element should be as greater as possible so you know that you will require four spaces to be filled like because you know you can't do better than three operation so you require you require four spaces to be filled so let's say they like the number is x you want to split so you can simply break it into four parts that's the best thing that you can do and everything should be uniform and in that way this is this condition is also satisfied that the first one is as max as possible so hope this point makes sense like you are actually like you will get this condition satisfied so what we have done is first we have find out how many moves are required because we want to minimize the number of moves so how we would find out number of moves we just distributed this max element like this ele this element to everything we we have to break 11 and we we see that uh so this is this is 11 actually so we have to break 11 and we see that everything should be less than or equals to 3 so we start breaking it in multiple like in uh, form of 3 and that's the best thing that we can get and we get that three operation is at least required or four number of spaces that needs to be filled now we want the first one to be as greater as possible so what is the best way the best way is to just distribute this x among these four spaces so we will just distribute everything in this four spaces and that would actually solve the problem so hope you get how to break the element right so in a way our problem is solved what we have just said is we will start from the very end we will keep on iterating to the left as and when we get a conflict we will try to find out how many how many split that requires here and how we will find out we will find out with the help of the next element because everything should be less than or equals to 3 so we we try to make everything as 3 now once we find out the number of spaces we also want to make sure that the first element is actually as greater as possible so we would want to distribute it equally rather than uh, this uh, configuration so here you can see first element is 4 but what you have what you can do is total is 13 right and you have this four spaces so in a way you can actually try to fill everything with 3 and just left one with 4 so you can do this so this is also a valid configuration and you can see the first element is actually greater than the previous element so that's how we find out what will be the first element so once we break out this we know that the new first element is 2 and we will keep on moving for like moving leftward and keep applying the operation so let's quickly look at the code now the code is very simple like we just need to as discussed what we need to do we need to check if the current element is actually less than or equals to the next element if it is we will just update the next and move forward otherwise we will find out how many parts are required so how we will find out number of parts uh, if you remember for 11 what we have tried is we have divided 11 into equal pieces right and with this division we get how many parts are there now we find out number of parts and we updated our answer to be par in case our answer to be parts minus 1 because if there are x parts it means we have applied x minus 1 operations now we need to find out the new next so what is the new next new next would be nums nums of j like the current element divided by the parts because we want everything to be equal again notice that if in this case we we want the floor not the ceiling ceiling would be the last one but the first one would be the floor one so that's where we are taking the floor and we just simply divide it uh, like integers and get the next element and move forward so hope the solution makes sense if you have any doubts in the problem please post them in the comment section below i will be able to answer this proof is little bit involved so i would encourage you to watch the video again and i'm sure that you will get it so thank you for watching i will see you in the next one